Why are you here this evening once more? Why are you here this evening once more? Why are you here this evening once Talk to him, let me hear your voice. Why are you here this evening? Let heaven hear you this evening. Why are you here this evening? Talk to the Almighty God. Music ministers, can you pick up the mic? Are you there? Yes. Talk to God. Bless His name. He's a wonderful God. Are we ready, music ministry? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When I go with the Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with the Lord Jesus in the battle, I am a winner. I said, When I move with the Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. Let me hear you. Into the battle, I am a winner. Let we move with the name Jesus. In every battle, we are the winner. Move with the name Jesus. Into the battle, I am a winner. I said when we go with the Lord Jesus, into the battle, we are the winner. When we go with the Lord Jesus, into the battle, I am a winner. I said when we move with into the battle, we are the winner. We go with the Lord Jesus. Into the battle, I am the winner. When we move with the Lord Jesus, into the battle, I am the winner. We go with the Lord Jesus. Into the battle, I am the winner. I suffer when we move with the Lord Jesus. Into the battle, I am the winner. Let them know. I said, let them know. I am a 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 Let let them know. I am I said, let them know. I am a I am a let me sing with this if you are not following me very well are you ready yes sir clap your hands for jesus let me oh, see jesus Shout hallelujah hallelujah As when i go with the lord jesus into the battle i am a winner Aha! I said when we move with the name Jesus in every battle, we are the winner. When we go with the Lord Jesus. Let me hear you. In every battle, I am a winner. I said let them know. I am a winner. I said let them know. I said let them know. I said let them know. I say, let them know I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner. Let them know. I say, let them know. Oh, yeah. Grab your hand. Sing it. I am a winner. Now. I am a 
Ay se le tendo Ay se le tendo Ay se le tendo Ay ya me winda 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 Ay ya me winda
Hallelujah. Amen. We rejoiced in the name of the Lord. Shame to the enemy. Clap for Jesus. Now. Amen. Amen. No, I said clap for Jesus. The day hear me. Hallelujah. I said Asrim. clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You must learn how to clap. When you return to the parishes, begin to learn how to clap. Music ministry, clap for Jesus. I'm only hearing one person here. Man. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today is your own day. No devil can hinder it. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. I bless your name this evening. Thank you for being here. Your will must be done. Bless your children. You have started blessing them. Let your blessing be abundant. In Jesus' name. Amen. And the people of God said, Amen. Have your seats. I am we must pray for the peace of the nation. Because I needed to conduct deliverance before the message. But if I get into it the way the Lord is leading me this evening, the ministers will be busy until the time is over. So I just need to pass the message and create room for billionaires and cause beggars to be distributors. So you are still here? I thought you have gone home. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me hear your hallelujah again. Hallelujah. Escape. I say escape. We are going to treat it in two subheadings. Escape from sin. That's point one. Point two. Escape from poverty. If, if you are ready this evening, you will discover that you kept yourself where you are. The Lord has done a great work for you. You have to take it home tonight. In fact, if you don't like wealth, just receive the blessing. Make the wealth. Bring it to me. I know how to use it. So don't reject the blessings of tonight. But I advise you. Don't ever appreciate poverty. Say no to poverty. Say I didn't hear you. I know Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I go straight to escape from sin. Genesis chapter 19. Genesis. Remember that yesterday. I told you the definition of escape is to break out from confinement. Confinement. Break out from the control of enemy. To have freedom. To assess what God has provided for you. Now escape from sin. 
Sin is a bondage. He makes you to be blind. He makes you to be enemy of your maker. And God is the source of all our blessings. When any man is in enmity with him, that person's trouble is grievous. In May it never be you. Did I hear amen over there? Genesis 19. Genesis. I begin from verse 1. And there came two angels to Sodom. Even unto Lord. There came two angels to Sodom at evening, and Lord sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lord seeing them rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his, with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold now, my Lord, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the streets all night. From verse 6 now, And Lot went out at the door unto them, and shut the door after him, and said, I pray you, brethren, do not wickedly. Behold now, I have two daughters, which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. Abawani memde muozia hon, webak, bia webia rue sodom, nanyas. Ma lotu nodron ono zama sodom. Lotu wea hon hanya, bilie isu te ha, odak bue iru yanala. Se biko, lem di wem biko, sini ni je unu, wesiga umu unu, ba anon lan oru unu, nan oma dabale, sakwa no uku unu, unu ge bili, ni soto to la, ha wwe si a e e, kam obo na ma, kanye ga anon, ono dabale. Malite na mokun ki si, nan to wwe po koro ha, rwe ono zon, mechye o za hon a zo ya, o se biko umu nem, une mena i hon jo, biko le, e wana umu ndi nyo ma abwa, Ndi aka maya arungoke. Biko kanku butara unu ha. Mekwano ha deka ode mananya unu. Nane une metuna ndiko maho iye. Nihi na odu nihi nka. Kahaba kuru nuku. Olonde. Olonde nke. Ha se. Pwa nuzo. Ha se kwa. Otu on. Ha se kwa otu a. Onye nkoso puta kwa na eno deka odia. Owen. Sorry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I read some part of it because you have been reading it. Here, we must know that every sin we are committing is reporting itself before the Lord. So what we call enjoyment is entirely our enemy. They make us to feel that we are okay. And they return back to the gate of heaven and report to God saying these ones are not worthy of your blessing. These ones are not worthy to leave. These people are disobedient. They are rebellious. Take them away from the road. The sins of Sodom and Gomorrah came to book. God sent his angels not that he didn't know what has happened but it's a faithful judge. He doesn't judge like natural man. You give a man money here he will utter judgment. But God is Faithful. He came to the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. The people of Sodom and Gomorrah. They saw the angels. So they wouldn't say there was no warning. The angels came to the street. And they saw the angels. The Lord saw the angels through the eyes of righteousness. They saw the angels through the eyes of iniquity. When Lord invited them to his 
He invited them with all his heart. But the men followed after him. They came for immorality. And so it was discovered indeed that these people were terribly down in sin. They wanted to commit immorality with angels. Remember that what they are doing are trying to show us here is what they call homosexual. The Sodom and Gomorrah became too terrible that they don't care any manner of gender. Whether you are a man or woman, married or married, you are good for them. Even the angels of heaven. And they came pushing the door. They wanted to commit immorality with them. They were inventing iniquities day by day. If you check our country today and the world all over, you will discover that people are inventing sin. I don't know what to say anyway. Sometimes people call it small sin. But but it is an invention of evil. I used to see some women along the road. I will not be able to design their faces again. You look at them from behind. You will discover that their eyes are different from the feathers that are there. Their eye, they is just quite different. Then I, I began to ask questions. How can somebody look like a human being? And the eyelids and lashes are looking like that of witches and wizards. They told me that that thing, they used to buy it and fix it. Challenging God that he does not know how to create. And so you will see somebody you will be looking this way then the eyelids will be facing this way you wouldn't understand what is happening today. people may see it as a small thing but it's invention the enemy gave them that creative evil things are multiplying we see men nowadays that we go to hospital and say change me to a woman what the people need is money they will pump their breasts pump whatever they like inside pump the everywhere my friend. and you will see a man you wouldn't know whether it's a dog or cow or human being. But he said it's a woman, still it's a man. Brethren, when did a man begin to have breast? Invention of evil. Even in the church today, we have people that are homosexual. We have women that are lesbians. You can easily suspect a man and a man. But you can't suspect a woman and a man. Even some of them are married. They are just married for marriage sake. But they know the woman that is indeed the same party. It's such a terrible scene. That the next name to eat is called Sodom. Because he began from a city of abomination. What are we saying now about uh, gambling? 
What are we saying about scam? Almost everybody you see in the street is a gambler. They were part of it. They have also entered into the church. You see native doctors now. And they are carrying Bible and charging up and down. That in Lagos. I'm on Lagos. That's so much in the eastern zone. I so many of them smoke marijuana they smoke very well you know they are unbelievers that don't smoke marijuana how come now that those that carry the bible and start the poopy smoke marijuana you will simply understand it when you see them conduct deliverance when they supposed to conduct deliverance they can kick they can box they can bite you because the brain contains marijuana and people are rushing to those places people are going to those areas they are criminals they can steal your daughter they can steal your son they can steal your wife they can steal your money they can also steal your wife and steal your soul. And people are still going there. The iniquity is abounding. And the Lord said, Escape. 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 My young sister, are there other women that are buying things for you? Making you to look like you are alright. But they are abusing you. Check it, check it. Escape from them. Escape. Escape from those men, brothers. That are asking you, what business do you do? And you say, I have talent. I can sing. You say I have talent. I can write music. I want to go to overseas. I want to play football. And they say, Why are you not there yet? Why have you not watched the music? Why have you not started playing? I say, Just money. Will inject demons into you. How do you think that a man that is messed up can do you good? Escape from that man. Escape. And come to Jesus. Jesus. Drop every manner of sin. Are you married? You are a woman. Even one. But you are defiling your matrimonial bed. You, you are laying a terrible curse upon the entire family. Even to the children unborn. You have tried to stop. You are even a church member. Apostle Paul says that the things. I want to do. I see myself not doing this. And the things I do not want to do. I see myself doing them. That shows us that many times we know much more than we can do. If we can do all the things we 
we wouldn't be getting into evil we wouldn't be getting into trouble you know that immorality is bad you know that homosexuality is bad you know that armed robbery is bad you know that ritual killing is bad you know that kidnapping is bad you are still doing them that's why the Lord is calling you to escape from those evil the Lord is here to do evil how will it happen just appreciation you don't need to do much simple appreciation some people will tell you be born again that is alright but what is being born again simple appreciation appreciation of what Jesus Christ has done on the cross you are not going to do anything again. he has no sin he, he was a righteous man you have seen. I had seen. But he took our sin and put upon himself. You pay the debt I could pay. And you will say, that thing that took you to the cross, I will never try it again. I appreciate you. I love you. I will give you my life. Because without you, I would have perished. And then you stop doing those things. That means you are born again. That means peace within your heart. You will return home tonight like a madman, a mad woman. But you are not mad. The joy of salvation. The joy of salvation. And as you get saved, you get to a tribal believing church. There may be many Bible believing churches around. I don't know them anywhere. Some of them I know. I don't have permission to mention them here. But where you find yourself, I'm sure of this ground. People will ask you, is there any need for a church? Is there a church in heaven? There is great need for church. First Timothy chapter 3. First Timothy chapter 3. Verse 15. Music ministry, if you get there before me, you read it loud. Verse 15. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God. Which is the church of the living God. The pillar and ground of the truth. Do you see the reason why we should be in the church? Because in the church, we have the pillar and we have the ground. The pillar there means support. If you receive Christ today, there may be some trials and temptations that will seem to weigh you down. As you come to the church, you get to the pastor and you say, Daddy, Pastor, and be with down. Things are not moving well. He will come closer. He will support you. He will teach you. He will cancel you. And then you will stand again. As you stand, you become a supporter to other people. No one man can play football alone. Every football has a team. You can stand alone. And not
Only as a pillar, as a support. As a ground. In other translations. The, the, the word ground means foundation. Foundation means formidability. It means stability. To stabilize you. When you get born again, you don't know anything yet. You just know I'm saved. You just rejoice because of joy of salvation. But you don't know. How enemy can push you down? You don't know the tricks of devil. If you are not in the church, you can still be visiting old sin patterns. And before you know it, you are back to square one. But in the church, foundation teachings will come. Of course, cancers will come. Um, of course, teachings will come. When those teachings come, they are like foundation. The foundation of a house depends the type of house that will be built on it. And so if you want to go to a church, go to a church with good foundation. So that when the breeze comes, or even the storm, you will be able to stand. And so salvation of your soul is important. Salvation means healing. Salvation means peace. Salvation means freedom. Salvation means deliverance from poverty. And so now we are going to what we call escape from poverty. If you are saved, you need to have freedom from poverty. Let nobody tell me about Lazarus. I am not Lazarus. After all, there was David. A friend of Jesus. After all, there was Abraham. And every Christian is singing a song. Abraham blessings are mine. You have never sung this song that Lazarus blessing is yours. No, I mean, Lazarus Sorry. Do you see that? Oh no, from Abuya. Is anybody listening now? Oh, If you are listening, let me hear your amen. Before I go ahead, so, Ghanero, go to Matthew chapter 4. Ghana, come, Matthew, Let's see no. why we are talking about money this evening. And you must give it to me before I go. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you happy about that? I don't want to hear only the music ministers. They are not the only people here. They are happy. I am happy. Are you happy over there? Yeah. Matthew chapter 4. Matthew no. Let me read for us. I'm going from verse 8. Again. The devil taketh Jesus up into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. <laughs> This is what has made the devil to deceive many people in the church. It has also encouraged unbelievers to stand against Christianity. They are teaching us that to be Christians we must be poor. That to be people that we go to heaven you have to lack food. You won't take your children to school. Because devil told them because devil has even told the church that well to belong to him does wealth belong to Satan? Uh, 
you see what Jesus answered him. If real Jesus is there, he, he want to claim what did not belong to him. The devil can allow you to be born again. Can you imagine that? Getting ready to go to heaven. He can just allow you. He knows how to get you. He can allow, allow you to be a prayer warrior. He can allow you to be a good singer. A mighty pastor. But don't mention money. Any day you want to be rich. The devil will fight you to a full final stop. The reason is this. He has lived in heaven. He has some wisdom. He knows what Christians can do with money. He knows that no matter the crusade, the number of people that are attracted in crusade. Carlos can come and they repent. And Robert can come and they repent. All manners of people can come and they repent. And then we are talking to them. Leave bad business. Leave the things you are doing that are not good. Leave gambling. But at the end of the moon, landlord will knock at the door. At the end of the year, landlord will come with a very long chew stick. The way he will knock on your door, he will bang on it. I said, my friend, did you build this house with me? Did you add one naira when I was building this house? Pay me my rent. And when a Christian is being bought, being troubled every time money 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 and he was not owing before he became a christian the devil will tell him to think twice return back to where you came from or you'll be disgraced you see the harlot returning to hotel you see the gambler returning back to yaku Backsliding Christians backslided because of terrible situations. So many believers have stolen money in the church. And some are still stealing even from the offering bag. You say this is a holiness place. Devil say ride on. So far you are poor. That holiness will not continue. Of course, you know when you did not train your children to school and then drop train their own, you are not holy. And so ignorant feel every place. Let me tell you something. Money is powerful. Ego, This crusade is a Let me tell you something. Money is powerful. Ego, This crusade that is organized. Didn't you pay money here? This is not the clothes the music ministers wear yesterday, wore yesterday. No, yesterday, but you change it. Am sorry, I right? Sorry. You use money to buy the clothes. This stage, money produced it. If your pastor is called to come for a meeting, he will use money to enter transport. When money is stopped from flowing in the church, activities die. Devil knows that. Might tell you something. You see, even the people in the world, money makes them to create policies. The, it, it changes political things in every nation. It is money. 
And so if money comes in <inaudible> in the church, <inaudible> church will do a great work. <inaudible> Give me that money if you don't need it. <inaudible> I will overtake on Isha by night. <inaudible> I know what I will do. <inaudible> I went to a particular place. <inaudible> a, a time of our one of our Dyson pastors. <inaudible> I saw that the number of youths organizing party they took over the city. Where, where we are doing the crusade. You just see two, three persons. One mama, some papa, and you know And when I came in there, God said, Go to that place where they were doing party. I was going there. But I was a kind of afraid. If you see this fierce youth, you see young ladies, young ladies. everywhere. And they were drinking and smoking. And God said, Can these ones be saved? I now, when I went to the pulpit after music ministry, I said, Go there and call the organizer of that, crusade, of that party. They have already told that there is some pastor. I said, Don't say anything about those people. We can finish everything we are doing here tonight. Thank God I didn't discuss it with anybody. They went to call him. He said, The pastor at the pulpit wants to see you. Because he's a well known person in town. A ruffian. The, the young man came and sat down and was talking like this. As I was preaching, I said, has that fellow that organized the party come? They say he has been waiting. I said, come. I said, to the pulpit. He came. I said, gang, call all those people in the party to come here. Nobody in the crusade ground. Multitude of people in the party ground. The young man said that all of them may not agree. Few may follow me. I said, go and tell them what I said. He went there. All of them came. Some of them we are wearing only pants. I mean, you can look at them. Big ladies. But young in age. They feel the crusade ground. We did the deliverance from that night till morning. No music again. No party again. In fact, I ran away from there. Early morning, Nozototo. the organizer of the party. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. I didn't know that he woke up to meet at the same pastor. And they were waiting for me. When I was ready to go, I came out. After talking with our daddy, I wanted to go. <laughs> they blocked my road. I came down. He said, Pastor, we have been waiting for you. Why did you deal with us like this? We wanted to give you breakfast. We have money to do everything. We enjoyed you last night. I was thinking they came for a fight. The wife ran out. He, he told me the business he was doing. My brethren, I bled in my heart. And young ladies were telling us that they have lost hope in life. One by one we listen to the many much we could listen to. They said no hope in life. That they want to smoke until they die. They want to go naked because they are useless. Nobody can train them. 
I said, I gave them hope. They said they were ready to become Christians since they can go to school. Unfortunately, I'm living in Lagos. I told our daddy, please, I'm interested in these people. If we can be coming for follow-up, I will get ready. We train some of them in school. What am I saying? So devil knows the importance of money. I'm coming gradually for you to understand. There is this footballer. He plays football in Spain. He's just a simple young man. There was something he used to do. He used to wear t-shirt inside his jersey. Do you already know the person I'm talking about? Okay. Uh, then inside that jersey, he may write Jesus, I love you. Jesus, write Jesus, my savior. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Jesus, just something like that. And any time he scored goal, he will remove the jersey. And the people will see Jesus is Lord. Jesus, Now the government saw it. The government, the government, the club called him. Um, do to a born about is anybody listening? Oh, one year and they say they have to rewrite his contract. I was saying, I'll talk about a car. Yeah, if you go to your goggle, upon each and a goggle again, check it there. There is something they call an attachment to his contract. Oh, yeah, but oh, yeah, but who yeah, no, 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 that he should agree not to be showing people about Jesus. They, 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 they just put there anything political or religious. No. In the contract, they were targeting Jesus. Jesus, It's like the young man said, no. That is, is, that's my idea. They promised him. Said they were going to pay him four hundred five hundred and forty one thousand six hundred and eighty thousand euro. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And that will amount to 6.2 million euro that you will be receiving every year. Oh no, You see, euro. No ma bon ko gana na ta kwa for de ko gwa ma. Ganta 6.2 million euro with 660 naira. Ha ba zenge ngwa to wari ya na ego naira nke ba kwo bre. The reason was they didn't want him to show Jesus again. Iye mere ha ji we kwa enu kunku abu na choi ka na egosi Jesus. Hey, the devil is moving everywhere. E kwa nsu na age ebe nile. They knew that if they say they don't want to sell anything religious that is an embarrassment it will cause problem in the polity in the government and bring the name of their club down is it true will they bring the club down no rather they will make more money they don't want anybody to say who is jesus they don't want any child to say i want to follow jesus of that great player do you see that if a player babs good in my dad's malam people will begin to bab malam if you carries that people will begin to carry that Many people would have followed Jesus through him. They used the money and shut up his mouth. He took the money and stopped it. They know what can happen when we have money. Is anybody listening? When we have money. The, the Jesus comes so that we can have money. Jesus, is it not only holiness, holiness we should be preaching? Having money is also holiness. Do you believe that? If you don't give your family food, are you holy? 
If your children are going naked in the street because of money, are you holy? So having money is holiness too. Second Corinthians chapter 8. Let's see why God wants us to be read. I would like you to read it dear so that we can go together. Is anybody there already? Second Corinthians. Corinthians. Eight verse nine. Eight verse nine. Read it. If you are there, say amen. Amen. Is there any microphone there? Oh yeah, read it. Read it. Read it. Second Corinthians eight. Verse nine. Sister, read. For you know. The no, grace no, 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 of our Lord Jesus Christ. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead. That though he was rich, uh -huh. yet for your sake for he my became sake. poor, uh -huh. that ye through his poverty might be rich. Say amen. Amen. Is it like that, like that in your Bible? Let me ask you. How do we receive salvation? Because Jesus substituted himself for our sakes. Yes, he went to the Calvary for our sake. Do we need to die again to get salvation? Do we need to be cut into pieces before we be saved? Why? Jesus has done it. Jesus Why did he become poor? He substituted for me. He redeemed me from poverty. He took the poverty so that I can be rich. Go and check Jesus. Check his lineage. He came from the lineage of Abraham. Was Abraham a poor man? Well, let me, I'm asking you. Was David a poor man? I am asking brethren. Was Isaac a poor man? I am coming small. I want to show it to you so that you won't doubt it. But if I show it to you, do you know why it takes us too much trouble to preach the gospel? Many of you know how we fast. Some of us pastors, our words are paining us. Because of two more sitting down and talking. Because of two more standing and talking. Do you know why we are suffering like that? Money. Ego. I say money. You don't know how. Go to Matthew 28. Let me show you that. Verse 12. Matthew chapter 28. I wouldn't have been suffering all this suffering. You would have even known more than me before you came here. There's something happened. Money exchange hand. Matthew 28 from 12. And when they were assembled with the elders I had taken cancer they gave large money unto the soldiers saying say say his disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept amen 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 amen, amen. amen. you see the one I'm preaching now many people it will be difficult to believe me they will say you are a pastor you people used to go and get train you train your mouth and when you talk it will be very sweet they will not believe me. I will preach too long. But you see those soldiers that were at the tomb of Lazarus. They had no interest. They were not children of God. They were not pastors. If they have come out and told the people, we saw it. The man rose and he went to heaven. He came out of the grave. Everybody would have believed in Israel. The people knew it. They say, How do we kill this program? 
So give them money. Shut up their mouth. Close their throats. And they took money. And went to the street. And said, these disciples, you see. They are criminals. They came in the night. And stole their master. That was what people like to hear. They didn't ask them what they were doing. In Israel, Israel, they keep soldiers in quarters. They may have three or four. Four here. Four here. Four there. And all of them will keep awake. When their own time is over, they get away. Another one comes. Another group. Nobody asks them. How come that all of you slept? They just wanted to hear what they said. And they disbelieved us. Money caused our problem today. And so he made preaching the gospel very difficult. You are talking to the people. They say the people that we are there say you stole him. And they couldn't believe us. Do you know that in America, in America research was conducted on homosexuality? They, they, they want to know whether homosexuality homosexuality involves that of men and women. Homo. Yes, homo is the same thing. It's the name for both. Okay. But I, if you want to differentiate, you say lesbianism. But homosexuality means like attracting like. I na ko wani ya ba yele ka e kwara ekwa ike ngoke na ngoke icho zike we ya iku onwa anyi di na nwa ema ekwa ike ba ha nya ntani le di zugbe. Now they went into research to know whether it, it is something natural or something that people brought along the line. Ha jere ka ha me nyo che ma mo bi ya di ka o kike si wa de ko bi ya ndi mari jere ka ha we si ku ta de ka ndo na aga. At the end, mba nka aga sare. They discovered ha we cho po ta homosexuality is not natural. Na mo ki di na ngo ke a de gidi ko kike si de. Go and check any person that is a homosexual. Ga ki le le ngo ko bola ne di na ngo ke. Is that that is more a man molested him when he was young. E le anya no we ngo ke nke or a lady molested that girl when he was, she was tender. It is not natural. But in America, Man in America, they all, they are the people, major people that give room for the person that will win the presidency. Ah, baby. If you travel, if you go to England, you know a particular city that is for homosexuals. Once you enter there, you will see how they will come close to you. In America, there are places you don't go to because of homosexuality. Of course, sometimes in these places they have festivals. Where they can go naked. But they discovered that the thing was not natural. Somebody rose up and gave money to the researchers. Where I say, I don't want this thing to manifest. How much do you need? They took money and they killed that research. So that homosexual can leave. So that evil can continue. If Christians don't take time, before Christ will come, somebody will give money. Give money. And say no more preaching. No more speakers. Stop all this madness. But if we have money, we will challenge them. Do you know that? If we have money, we will tell them it cannot happen. I would like to go to jail. I will preach. When they lock me, my billionaire brother will come and bail me. And when yes. As I'm coming out, I will be preaching to the police. Because when you have money, you have strength. When you have money, you have power. When you have money, you have man. If we don't do anything now, they are going to stop us very soon. 
when you they, they will not happen. succeed. Okay, I, can have I said they will not succeed. Now, now you, you see, I told you I will pray for you tonight. I will not pray for you. Let's see the lineage of Jesus Christ. Abraham. Abraham was so rich. If you go home, you read Genesis 12. You read on until you get to 20. No, the, the chapters. Sorry. You will see that Abraham was very rich. In chapter 26, you will see Isaac. That's what our daddy used to quote. He said, and the man works what? But made him to 